Hello everyone, so in today's video we're going to be talking about how to use the rangefinder on the Binox and PSO scopes. It's this little uh, height scale at the bottom left side of your optic. And uh, we're going to be going through what my thought process is when I'm looking for a target, ranging the target, uh, dialing in, and then taking that shot. Uh, so right now we're playing on Kohat as the US marksman as you, you guys can tell by this scope. And we're just going to go through here and go through my thought process and how to use the rangefinder and dial in uh, a shot rapidly. So right now I'm looking for a target and we are taking shots from the north from this compound. So I'm kind of scanning it really briefly right now. And uh, right off the bat here, I noticed this this guy up, uh, on this roof. So I noticed something kind of breaking the contour of that roof. And most of the time when, when um, something breaks a contour, it's, it's a player. Sometimes it's a rock or a tree, but most of the time when you see, same thing with skylining, when you see like a smooth ridge or anything, anything that pops up is usually a player unless it's a rock or a tree. So right off the bat, I can see this guy kind of peeking at the top. Uh, what confirms this is the tracer shot, right, that comes out. So that tracer uh, confirms that that is indeed a player, and now you can kind of see him a little bit better here. Um, so what the next step is for me, as you can see here at the bottom, is I'm ranged for 100. This guy's very obviously not 100 meters away. He's, he's probably somewhere in my mind. I'm instantly gauging that anywhere from 3 to 400 meters, uh, maybe even 5, right, just eyeballing. Um, if you get really good, you can, you know, pretty much range things just with your eyes. But, you know, I, I don't play marksman too much, so I'm guessing this guy's anywhere from 300 to 500. He's definitely not uh, within 300 because how small he is, right? A second thing that I note is that he's prone. Uh, the range finder on the Binox and PSOs really only works if they're standing up straight. So that's a second thing that I notice is that I can't really accurately range this guy because he's prone. Um, but if I find some something else like another guy near him, I can use the range finder. So these are the, just the initial observations I'm making uh, with the marksman kit. So the next thing I do is I want to pull out my binox and range the shot. So we're going to pause right here. So as you can see, uh, he's still sitting there. I now have what I also notice is that there's a full length guy standing up right here. He's not prone. He's not crouched. He's standing up uh, straight. So what that tells me is I can use this guy to range the shot on this guy. Right, because this guy's standing up, and I use the range finders only when they're standing up. Right, it's really hard to get them when they're crouched or prone because they're not really built for that. I'm sure if you get really good, you can kind of, uh, you know, create your own metrics for that. But I very rarely play uh, with the marksman kit, so I only range them when they're standing up. So what you have to do to use the marksman uh, ranging is this little thing right here. This is the uh, range finder. Okay, this right here, this is mainly for mortars as far as degrees and, uh, you know, azimuth and degrees for uh, elevation. Um, I don't really use this. I kind of have a knowledge of how far in my mind, um, how, how far it needs to be. But this is essentially for mortars, right? But we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about this little piece right here, which is for the, uh, the ranging of infantry targets. So what you want to do is you want to take a player and line him up essentially anywhere in here right or wherever he fits right so for example if a person is 200 meters away from me he's gonna his head should be about here and his feet should reach there if he's 200 meters away that's how big he'll be in my screen if he's 400 meters away here 300 meters away here right and then five and then six seven eight nine um and ten right that's how big they'll be on my screen uh so what you want to do is you want to take this and essentially line it up with the target right so Right here, I'm trying to line it up with that one guy that just jumped down here, and you'll see that happen. Um, so right here, right, you can see me bring that rangefinder down onto him, and now I'm just trying to see, you know, how big he is, right? Right now, it's looking like he's probably 400, maybe 300 meters away, right? So uh, you'll see me kind of jiggle with it and try to get him perfectly aligned in the uh, scale, right? So again, perfectly aligned, and he, he was uh, aligned at 400, so we'll, we'll back it up real fast. Um, whoops, too far. All right, right here. So you can see that he pretty much is as tall as a 400 meter target is, right? So I know he's at 400, right? Whereas if he was bigger, he would have been at 200 or 300. So instantaneously, I, had, I now have the range. This is all happening within one, maybe two seconds. I now have an accurate range of the target up here. Of course, this guy's a little bit further back, so he might be, you know, 400 plus something, but uh, he's within that ballpark, right? I can, I can tell just by eyeballing that the distance from this guy to this guy is no more than 50 meters, right? They're really close together. Um, this is maybe 15, maybe 20 meters in between these guys. Um, this guy's maybe 20 meters behind this guy, but it's still within the 400 meter ballpark. So instantaneously, I just swap my weapons, dial it into 400, line up the shot, and kill him. So... 
now you know how to range things on your own. Um, of course, this helps with mortars, right? If you, if you want to mortar a target you, and you're a squad leader, you pull out your Binox, you range that guy in, and you can you now have an accurate ranging. But when you're squad leader, you can usually just drop a rally, uh, not a rally point, but a uh, target marker, and it'll give you the, uh, the marking on the bottom of the screen, right? That's one way to do it. Uh, that's one way how I rapidly get ranges as a squad leader, right? Because you have that tool of marking, so... Let's say I wanted to mortar this. I just look at it, target it with a with an attack marker, and then right down here, it'll tell me the rough range. Or you can mortar calc it, or you can try to eyeball it. However you want to do it, multiple different ways. But uh, if you're a marksman or you have that range finder, now you know how to use it because it is for something, right? It, it it is actually used for something. So we'll play this back in full speed, and you can see actually how fast uh, and easy it is to range something and then engage it with the marksman kit. Okay. So once again, looking for the target, identify the target. Pull out the binox to range looking for something to range i see one guy jumping up get him in the marker he looks like 400 swap weapons dial into 400 line up the shot boom he's down so very easy as you can see that whole thing took 15 seconds you have to sit there and ask your squad leader for a mark you don't have to you know guess and shoot multiple times if you are able to get a proper ranging with your binox or your scope uh you should be able to easily line up a shot and, and land it. So this is hopefully a nice tip, a nice quick tip for you guys who uh, like to play with the marksman, marksman kit or even uh, have scout kits and use that Binox to accurately range targets. Um, so yeah, hope this video helped you guys and explained how to use that. I'll probably go into more depth over how to use the holdovers on certain weapons like the maybe the PSO or the ACOG. Um, you know, those weapons have built-in holdovers uh, that use shoulder length, and I'll go into that in another tip video. But you can really see here how easy it is to range things uh, with the Binox and the Marksman Kit. So, thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, leave a comment down below uh, if you've used this before and if you know how to do this. Because um, it's really a cool thing to be able to do. Like, it just, it just feels nice to know how to use these tools. So, let me know in the comments down below what you think. And I'll see you in the next video.